car review video in a while so we have a Honda CRV a 2018 Honda CRV we're gonna do a review on here or a walk around rather uh, this is this car is brand new so uh, we haven't had it long enough really to do a full review on it like a reliability type review but this is a 2018 Honda CRV EXL model it has 18 inch Hankook Kennergy GT tires. Um, this one's the EXL, so it has a little bit. It's a little bit upgraded. It's got a little visor for the sunroof. Um, it has a radar for radar cruise control. It's got a camera up there that keeps track of road lanes and uh, like lines on the road. And it uh, watches for cars like stopping immediately in front of you in case it has to brake. This car can brake itself. Um, uh, LEDs on the front. Let's see if I can hit unlock here and they'll light up. Here's the key fob. Yeah, you can see LED turn signals. I want to say these are LED too. Let's see the back here. It is keyless entry. Yeah, LED turn signals. And I believe the, the rear lights are LED as well. Good walk around. Okay, this car actually has keyless start, so maybe we'll go ahead and try that. I believe to use it, you just lock it. The car doesn't honk, it beeps. And it says hold, so we'll hold the start. Okay, you can see the car got the message too. And it started up. This car is powered by a 1.5 liter uh, turbocharged four cylinder and it's mated with a CVT transmission. So it is a really small engine, but it is turbocharged and it puts out about 190 horsepower. So quite a bit of horsepower out of a tiny little engine. And this engine's the same engine they put in the Honda Fit, but the Honda Fit is not turbocharged. So it definitely puts out a lot, a lot less horsepower in the Honda Fit. Yeah, uh, there it's running, uh, turbocharged, nice and quiet. Four-wheel disc brakes all around as well. This one is the two-wheel drive model as well. So we'll go ahead and hop in here. I'm not... So you should be able to just grab it. Yeah, there's no button you have to push. You can grab hold of the handle and it'll open its... Uh, unlock itself. There's a little sensor on the back. So no button to push there. You can hop in here. This one has the gray interior and with black accents or the black interior with gray accents has the uh, fake wood trim this has like a metallic feel to it it's kind of interesting uh, some kind of aluminum inlay a few driver presets here the normal Honda controls if you've ever been to Honda mo a lot of stuff is standard um, over here before we get in as well this is to prevent the car from braking itself if need be this is lane departure the trunk button and vehicle traction control before we get too far into this as well, I'll go ahead and pop the gas cap. This car is kind of interesting. It does not have a gas cap. It just has a gas hole, I guess, or gas filler. There's no twist on gas caps. You just put the fuel nozzle right in there and fill it up. So you don't have to ever touch really anything except the fuel nozzle. I'm gonna close that back up there. Okay, coming inside, go ahead and hop in here. Uh, with the car on, um, Starting with the key, the climate is running to try to bring the inside of the car up to a temperature that's comfortable. And so to bring it back to where you can normally drive it and it's not on like a countdown before it can run, you can just hit that. Well, that shuts it off, but you need to hit your brake then hit that. And it'll start back up for you. It has electric power steering. And pretty much a, the whole middle is digital and the right and left is uh, digital it makes it look like analog but they're digital gauges as well starting on the left here you have uh, you can see the little car symbol in the mirror that's your blind spot monitor there's a lot of technology in this car that I mean even even having it for as little as I had I still haven't found all the technology in this car just yet um, moving on you like I said your normal cruise your normal window controls you have a preset for your driver it's your normal lock unlock door all this is soft touch right here. This is hard plastic, hard plastic, soft touch. 
soft touch up to top here a lot of people put their arms up there have a little tweeter a little defrost vent a little cubby hole I'm not sure what that's for there's a lot of blank spaces here so I would imagine either they might use this dash for another vehicle or there's a lot of buttons missing here I'm not sure what would be there I would imagine maybe foot adjustment pedals and things like that um, I'm gonna keep with the dash and we'll come back to that in a second um, the seats are comfortable perforated leather and they're heated as well three stage as you can see right here three stage heated uh, you have a lumbar adjustment which is a whole bunch of adjustments for lumbar and uh, driver seat forward back up down whole bunch back forth tons of adjustments there uh, moving on we'll get we'll get to the media in a second electric parking brake I believe you put your foot on there and it sets the parking brake and you can push to release you put your foot on the brake and push it and it takes it off brake hold but function is if you're at a light and you're holding the brake say you're at a stoplight and you're holding the brake waiting for the light to turn green if you have the brake hold uh, function on it will automatically hold the brake for you and you don't have to sit there and hold the brake at a light and that pretty much goes for any time you are stopped and holding the brake uh, it'll keep the brake held and it will release as soon as you go to hit the gas so you really don't have to do anything you know switching over to go it's a pretty neat feature normal shifter you have a park reverse neutral uh, sport and low econ button I'd imagine that just changes shift points moving down you have one power outlet it's 180 watts max well, uh, that does that's for our security system uh, just a little cubby tray here uh, cup holders which I don't that's kind of an odd size cup holder I don't know how much stuff would fit in that center console here is leather wrapped and you have Honda does these kind of interesting adjustable kind of center consoles all our vehicles have these weird center consoles they put a lot of um, we have a whole bunch of Hondas they all put weird sliding adjustable kind of center consoles and they're pretty useful and uh, comfortable down here you have a USB that's 1.5 a USB that's 1 amp and then another power amp outlet this one is for your um, media system your entertainment system up front for like Android Auto and such I'll put that back up kind of a rubbery texture here I would imagine so you can put your cell phone so it doesn't slide around moving on on this side pretty much the same uh, perforated leather seat I don't believe actually these this is a electric seat as well no lumbar but it is electric moving up down back fart uh, back forth adjustable head ramps headrests sorry about that and the same type of pocket you have in your driver's side you have another a cup holder storage uh, speaker soft touch and uh, buttons and you know the normal spiel uh, another tweeter uh, up here we've got uh, you can see the camera there lighted mirrors uh, rear view mirror like that that you have find on most Honda vehicles and they usually multifunction where you can put glasses up there as well that's pretty neat you have garage door buttons if you have them programmed that's pretty simple to do. You can read the owner man owner's manual about that. Uh, your function for your interior lights, your door on off, your tilt and sliding moonroof. This car is a sunroof or moonroof, whatever you want to refer to it as. And uh, yeah, it's got a, uh, a normal storage box there. I'll open up the uh, container here so you can get a rough estimate of uh, what all this car comes standard with Let's see a whole bunch of information there about the vehicle it's supposed to get 30 miles per gallon combined it's, remember it has a CVT so it should should theoretically get that you can read all the information here pause it if anything interests you it's made in Indiana or final assembly is in Indiana and I want to say let's see what it said here the car is 65% built in the USA, so that's pretty good. I do have some rubber floor mats in here. They fit the car pretty well. They're Goodyear. Uh, they're just simple cut um, type floor mats. 
close the door back up here now this is where it kind of gets confusing there's a lot of controls up here to try to I'm not completely fluent in them but there are a lot of controls here that you can mess with the headlights are automatic you can have your parking auto you can just leave it there the entire time you own the car and uh, there's your normal headlight button down here you have your fog lamps this car has fog lamps we'll go outside and look at them just your normal turn signal it also has the quick turn signal where you can just push it down once and it'll flash three times a lot of cars are coming with that and um, over here you just got your normal windshield wiper it has a rear windshield wiper and a mist as you just pull like any other Honda okay now getting to the dash here uh, or the steering wheel rather you got your telephone controls your voice commands which you can tell it to do things uh, just like many cars nowadays you got your uh, different your volume level on your radio right here it's kind of a weird textured button got a blank switch I'm not really sure what that was for got your main that just brings you back to kind of the home um, screen on your dash and your cruise control is on this four toggle thing your radar cruise control this car does have radar cruise so it can lock onto the car in front of you and kind of trail it and if it slows down you're going to slow down if it speeds up you're going to speed up it sort of just keeps track so if you're in like a convoy with somebody else that comes in handy so you don't have to sit there and try to monitor your speed uh, this is a little information button that changes the little information in the dash Let's see if i can get you guys up there so you can see it uh, you got your fuel we'll look at that real quick right now i'm getting i just filled up so i'm getting 24.1 which that's not accurate I literally just filled up probably a mile ago and it resets um, next button is your driver attention level I'm not really sure hundred percent what that does but I think it works in conjunction with like the lane departure and such to make sure you're not going out of your lane and it will tell you if you need like coffee or something maybe you need to take a break while driving your oil life kind of I'm kind of surprised Honda didn't really put any other things you can view in here you can't really view any other mechanics of the vehicle you can just view oil life It'd be nice to see like turbo pressure and stuff your radio which is adjustable here as well uh, phone information when you hook up your phone if you want to switch kilometers to miles maybe you're going into uh, Canada or Mexico and turn by turn directions so if you have the navigation with Honda it, your navigation information will show up on your dash as well kind of interesting you have an RPM gauge up there, you can see it uh, moving. Pretty interesting. You can get rid of that as well through the uh, information system on the dash and the different uh, lane, like lane keep assist and different um, controls that you would find. All the other, pretty much they light up when you hit it. Road, de road departure mitigation, that kind of thing. And that does work. The, I've tested it. It will pull you right back into your lane. It doesn't like it if you let go of the steering wheel, though, so I don't suggest doing that. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much the bulk of what's going on up here. You can, uh, like I said, you can adjust your radio volume. You can change your FM, X, if you like XM radio. You can do that as well. Horn. It's kind of a high-pitched Japanese-sounding horn. Your hazards are up here. And it's kind of a kind of a, it's like a it doesn't seed in you just click it click it interesting okay moving on to the center uh, display here this is a dusty make it so you guys can see it a little bit better this car has uh, pretty much every kind of radio you can think of XM FM AM all that normal stuff uh, this car is you get free three months of XM radio but it's kind of cool it um, you can select yeah, FM, AM, Sirius XM, USB input if you have a USB, iPod, Bluetooth, Pandora, and just phone. Imagine if you just have uh, information saved to your phone. Up here you have a compass, Wi-Fi. This car is hooked up to my house's Wi-Fi right now. I'm not really sure what the little satellite is, but I would imagine that's for the GPS if you have it so equipped. Uh, yeah, you got audio which we have undone right now, info, which you can change your computer clock, your wallpaper and different things like that. Go back there for a second. Yeah. Now keep in mind this does, this screen here runs Android. So I'm not saying you, you should hack it, but there are different things you can add on here if you don't like certain things. Honda Link, that's kind of like their system that you can use, um, 
you, know, you can check out vehicle information recalls maintenance if you need to do stuff like that pretty interesting diagnostics this car does talk to Honda like um, via like a cellular type connection we'll go back here for a second you can send Honda a message help and support kind of like the it has like a manual inside it as well kind of cool let's see phone you know your normal keypad if you have a phone it does pretty much all your normal phone stuff calls make calls Bluetooth that kind of thing settings uh, clock info info camera you got different cameras here Bluetooth this is where it can hook up to your Bluetooth smartphone you got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay normal phone audio and it shows up um, you know you puts cover art and that kind of stuff which is kind of cool go back here system lots of stuff in this display this is where you can turn off the tack if you don't want the tack on the screen you can change background color all different different kinds of colors I'll click on that one for example you get blue green violet red amber whatever you want tons of different settings you can mess with home screen you can change stuff on that display different colors background color display beeps noises that kind of stuff voice recognition clock and others you know this is data resets detail information here you can find some oh yeah there's your that looks like Android for sure pretty cool they let you uh, view that I think okay we'll go back home here I think we're in this, and then you get back to your phone uh, smartphone connection and then you click this button more kind of Android -y looking stuff you can download apps uh, if you have an APK file it'll download it right off a USB drive and there you got your volume control over here and your audio off audio on I have a volume all the way down right now but it's pretty uh, user friendly the old Honda system used to not have this knob so you used to have to do the volume by the touch screen which a lot of people didn't like so we can go back here to Sirius XM to give you an idea of what the normal audio screen looks like I, you can rewind it too kind of cool there radio Disney all that kind of cool stuff and yeah okay so we pretty much summed up that this, like I said this runs Android so you can theoretically add stuff to it um, little apps and widgets and whatnot this one's brand new so there's nothing really on it you got tons of pages just like you would a smartphone and you can dim the dash right here for nighttime do that as such okay moving down to the climate control it's automatic climate control air conditioning uh, rear defrost turns on the heaters as well and you can do the climate here you can adjust the climate on the screen too pretty cool you can turn the AC on pretty spiffy turn the fan up and down here recirculate in fresh air fan on fan off front defrost passenger airbag on and off so yeah that pretty much sums up this uh, front thing here uh, there's a, your uh, camera and other systems are up above here it's an auto dimming rear view mirror and I think that pretty much sums up everything up here I'm sure I might have missed a few things um, but there's a lot of stuff going on up here to try to <laughs> know what's going on um, but it is it is pretty advanced vehicle we'll go to the um, back seat here and then we'll move to the uh, we'll pop the hood and check out under the engine Whoops. don't want to lock myself out of here same kind of soft touch material you found up front is in the back except this top piece here is hard plastic now looking in uh, your gray seats and then uh, black flooring I'm five foot six and I probably have a foot between my kneecap and the seat in front of me so tons of leg room 
the rear seats do have air vents which is nice not very many vehicles consider this and yeah the blast the air conditioning they get it up back here two two and a half amp usb chargers down here which is really nice it's something you don't um, you usually find one amp or 1.5 amp and they charge your phone really slow these are 2.5 amps so it'll charge your phone very fast map pocket behind the passenger this is a 60 40 split seat you got two cup holders right here headrests all the way around that are adjustable your seat belts back here for this area a little map light and yeah pretty pretty comfortable large back seat here um, definitely anybody large in size could definitely fit in here comfortably pretty much your standard honda features pop back out here move to the trunk the trunk is the car senses that i have the key in my pocket so it's it's not happy that i'm walking away from it very much the trunk is electric it'll raise by itself here and you have a spare tire underneath here check it's a kenda tire i'm not going to open it i guess uh, your license plate mounting bracket this flips down your front seats your 60 40 seats kind of a goofy light system here you got to turn on manually i don't know why they don't have a rear light back here that um, just comes on when you open the door you have a rear like i think these are called a deck lid that comes out like this to cover up things in your trunk in case you know you're coming at you in a parking lot that's not a very nice area and cover things up like that uh, ton, tons of room down here you can fit a hole uh, whatever you probably golf clubs back here whatever you could possibly think you might need these pop out I'm not really 100% sure with the purpose of these but they're there and yeah the close the trunk you can click that guy goes down nice and easy has dual exhaust not true true duels I don't believe but a wide pipe type of dual those are the gray wheels pop back here we'll pop open the hood this is direct injection so it, it sounds uh, like a tiny little diesel Honda doesn't put struts so we gotta kind of there we go it's a 1.5 liter turbo earth dreams you could just hear a whole bunch of little ticking that's normal that's the injectors the little direct injectors inside the combustion chamber injecting gas that's what you're hearing tiny little engine i guess if you ever had to work on it you'd have tons of room your turbo's under there in that heat shield very functional I see Honda put their little, they, they try to make cold air intakes out of the way they do their grill. Like on the ridge line there that has a cold air intake, I'd imagine this functions the same way where it forces air into this as a cold air intake. All right, that pretty much uh, sums up under the hood. We'll pop this back down here. Do one quick one more quick walk around with the lights on got those fog lamps on you can see the LEDs now here actually we'll turn on the hazards as well give us an idea of you can see the rear tail lamps there it's all LED you got side markers in the mirrors as well Very quiet, just sounds like a normal small four cylinder engine. All right, go ahead and shut her down here, you guys. I think this about concludes it. Turn that off. It has that Honda, new Honda smell that everybody enjoys. We'll cut the headlamps off here. We'll turn the lights off. And uh, this car has, uh, I'll tell you that as well. This car has 411 miles on it, so brand spanking new. Alright you guys, I hope you liked this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.